Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Ashley's Treasure and I have another haul to share with you from Arnie's that I got for Mother's Day. One of them was the specialty paper from Heidi Swap. I loved it so much with all these floors on here and it's like on vellum. It was so pretty. I couldn't say no to it so I ended up getting that one. And being Mother's Day, I was paying for it for myself. I kind of, I might have splurged a little. I kind of spoiled myself. <laughs> And then I found some paper from Kaiser Craft, and this one is Morning Dew Collection. And I got some individual sheets. I love this one with the flowers and then the colors and the design in it. It was just so pretty because it's got like this leaf here, and then it's got that design and the flowers. I just, I loved it. So I'm going to try using this for scrapbooking. And the back of it's not bad either. And I like the um, writing on there as well. And then it's got a border strip of those flowers. Kind of hard to see. I'm just going to focus. Also, I got a new phone. In the, so I'm still adjusting to and getting used to it. But it seems a lot clearer than what my own old phone used to um, do on videos. hope that you can see better. This one was called Exhale. This one is called Breathe. And isn't this gorgeous? I love the flowers on here. And then it's got some of that same writing on there. It's just, it's so pretty. I love it. And that butterfly. And then it's got these stones in the back. And then good friends are hard to find, harder to leave, and impossible to forget. I always love their border strips. So definitely got one of those. And then this one is the same collection. This one is called Inhale, and it's got the flowers here, the whole page. Aren't those hi I'm not I'm not good with names of flowers. Aren't these those hi hibiscus? I think that's what they are. But then this was really pretty too, with this blue and green dots going on. And then it says gratitude, the um, definition of gratitude. So I know I might use that one. And then this is Kaiser Graph 2, but from a different collection. This one is Gypsy Rose. And um, this is the sticker sheet. And I just, I like the sayings and the colors and the feathers and stuff. And I think I have a um, Prima Marketing paper pad that I got last year that I haven't been able to use because I haven't found stuff to go with it yet. And I know it had like colors like this and I think this will go with it. That's why I got this. So hopefully it'll work out. I do really like it though. I love these flowers. And then I got some paper sheets from Simple Stories. I love these flowers. Um, I do like the back as well. And what was this one called? This one was from the Vintage Botanicals. And what is this one called? Paper is called A Beautiful Day. I just got like maps and leaves from like book pages. So I don't know I might use this will be perfect for um, adding in junk journals. I might use it for that. And then last time I was there, I got the um, package of the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Cottage Fields, and I really love that one. And I didn't realize it that they only have one sheet of each one each design and they're double-sided and so there were some of them that I really wanted to get more of to use for your you know like the cover and then like some of them like the cut aparts I liked the page in the back too so I got a couple more sheets of them um, I got this one which is dream more that was really pretty I like the butterfly and like the newspaper in there and I just love all of the distress going on and then it's got these blue butterflies in the back so cool. And then I got another sheet of this one, which is Hello Happy. It's got these really pretty butterflies. Love it. And then this one in the back, which was really fun too. I don't know which side I like more. I do like that bumblebee though. It's so adorable. And this yeah, this one was called Hello Happy. And 
and then this was the four by six elements and of course i'm going to use one of the cut aparts but then i also liked the back of it as well that's why i had to get another one because i liked all the colors and it's got that yellow and the blue and then that pinkish color so pretty it's more it's not necessarily pink pink it's more of like a coral color i like it i like it a lot and then i love this one i think this is the one I'm going to use for the cover. So I got two more of them so I can use in the front and the back. I love this butterfly. Like it's got darker like writing on it. Oops. I'm going to focus. There we go. More butterflies. And it's got like flowers. It's so pretty. And then the back of it I really liked too. So I was thinking of using this as the cover and then this like on the spine of it. So that's why I got two of them. So I had enough for front and back and then for the spine. So that's why I got two of those. So now I got three sheets of that. And then I got another one of this one because I just, I love this one on this wood grain. It's just so pretty. Love it. I could see somebody framing that. And then it's got the little birdie too. And then it's got the polka dots in the back. And inside of the polka dots, it's got um, like that newspaper writing. I don't know if you can see that inside of them, which is cute, but I got it for this side. Oh, and this one was called Natural Beauty. And this one was called Embrace Each Day. I love the sayings of them. And then I stumbled upon this one, which is um, Heirloom Botanicals. Um, the patch from 49 and market and it is like super thick paper like this is the thickest paper I've ever had but it's double-sided but isn't this gorgeous I love it I love the little clusters of flowers on here and like the book around it and it's got like writing on here I love the blue even the border strips not bad and I like the back too so I don't know probably should have got two of these but this would be a great background to do some um, scrapbooking but yeah I don't know I like both sides I should have got two of them but it's super thick and it was a little bit more expensive it was like a dollar 29 for it so I only got one because of it being 49 in market and then um, I remember one of the times I got the embellishment of um, a collection and I, didn't, I could not find any of the papers so I finally found some. This one was the Circus from Cartabella and um, we went to cir actually two circuses and I wanted to make an album out of it but I have the embellishment but I don't have any of the paper and I swore I've seen it at um, Tuesday morning and I went there and it, it was gone and I've never found it since then. And so I've been looking everywhere and I haven't found it, but I found that they still had some of it and they had it in individual sheets. They didn't have the package, sadly, but I was able to get some of them. So I think this will be enough to work off from it. But of course, they have that texture feel to it and they're pretty thick too. Like, can you see the texture to that? But um, it kind of has that rustic feel to it, which I do like. And I'm trying to remember what this one was called. Yeah, this one's just called Border Strips. Um, this side has got polka dots and you can see how it's like aged on the edges. And then it has these really fun border strips here. Got the animals, the tents. I do love these strips that they use because it's great to have underneath um, like a 4x6 photo like going whichever way it's nice having these underneath it. I love them. Should have got two of them but I just got one of that one. And then I got this one which is called Big Top Stripe. And Ken, I love the aging around it and I love these little like flags, these borders. And then it has this really nice blue and white stripes and it's got the age around it. And they're not perfectly straight. They're kind of like messy like they were painted on, which I like. 
and then it's got like this diamond on it which which this one is called traveling circus and each one of them got the age again and then this one's got like the tickets which is really fun I like that and then this one I wasn't huge over this one but I thought you know I might as well get it to go with all of them and this one is called circus magic it's kind of like the border strips but it's just you know blue and cream and then these circles and then here's this again but this time it's in black this one's admission tickets and then it's got the strip of these tickets which I really liked so definitely using that and then I liked this one I wanted to use this in like the back of the album the back cover and have it like the star centered in it it does have the distress on the edges as well and then it had all these really fun cut aparts. I love these. Circus, and there's like a gypsy, and then an elephant, giraffe, got the clowns. I just, I love this old, like, retro look to it. And because it had cut aparts, and I like the back, I ended up getting two sheets of that so I can use this for the back of the album. And then I, of course, I needed cut aparts. And then. Did I say what that one was? Multi journaling cards. And then this one is Circus Parade. It's got these really nice blue and um, red stars. And then it's just got like a parade, circus parade going on. And then this one is the greatest show. It's got lots of different colors in there. And then this is the back of that. It has a bunch of different sayings on there. It's really cute. It's got the lion. Got some clowns. Spectacular. Sideshow. Fun. It's got the girls on the horse. So, definitely like that. And then it had these yellow polka dots. Well, white polka dots on yellow and it's got the aging around it this one is called circus act and then it's got some of the different circus there's a bear riding a bike and then horses ponies um, giraffes elephants there's a seal just be doing all sorts of really cute tricks a guy with his dogs so I might cut some of them out, but I got two of those because I liked both sides. So I think that'll be enough to make an album out of. That's why there's so many paper. They have a never ending supply of individual sheets. They have row after row after row there. I just, I love going there and it's so hard not to grab a sheet of everything. I was trying to be good. I was getting one specific for specific projects that I already have planned. And then I stumbled upon this, which is uh, Graphic 45, and I end up splurging. I end up grabbing it because it's got the collection in here. It was expensive, $21.59. It's not something I would normally go for, but I really liked it, and I don't have any Graphic mm -hmm. 45, so I thought this would be a good one to try. They give two of each of eight double-sided 12 by 12 papers and then they got um, a 6 by 12 stickers and they got um, two different ones one of each but I love the butterflies and the flowers and this is actually kind of thick too and it's got you know stencils to go off from but isn't this gorgeous I definitely have to use this part for a cover of an album and then it's got these strip of eggs. And then I love these because they look like stamps. I just, I love it. And then it's got this nice blue design in the back. 
forget what this one is called. This one's called Bird Watcher. We got two of those. And then this one's Beautiful Morning with all these beautiful flowers. And there's some right, blue writing in the back. I love it. And then this is the back. Really pretty. And of course, they're pretty thick. They're not the thickest, but they are really smooth. No texture on these ones. And then this one's called Look Up, and it's got all the cut aparts in it that I love. I love how these look like big stamps and journaling spots. I love it. Definitely using those. And then this is the back. And this one's really nice. I love this one. I love the blue in it. Uh, this one's called Flock Together. With all these really pretty birds in writing in the back. And then um, it looks like flowers. Do you see that? That fine line is like the outline of flowers. And then it's got the blue strips over it. And it's kind of got that same cut as, you know, postage stamps do. So I really like that. I love both sides of this. And then Just Breathe, which has a lot of that blue in it. And then these flowers, those stamps, and the birds. Love it. And then this design in the back. And then I'm in love with this. I'm going to definitely have to cut all these out. This is Best of Friends. It's got so many stamps of birds. All about bird watching. And then it's got these really cute flowers in the back. Look like little roses. And I don't know if you could see in the background of it, it has that like outline of flowers again, like in a light tan. You see those? Love it. I love both sides. But I'm definitely using one of these to cut all those apart. And then this one is Feather Your Nest. So pretty. A little bird told me to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. And then this one has some nice writing and beautiful Feathers. Love that. I love this blue and this cream in it. And then more cut aparts. This one is called Learn to Fly, which is great. I like that flower. The hummingbird. And I like the variety of birds. It doesn't have just like one or two, it has a big variety of different types. I love that. And then green with the binoculars for bird watching. So I thought that was definitely worth it. And then it also included the two stickers as well, which is really cute. So I got more than enough stuff to make an album out of. I love that hummingbird. Look at that doily bird, that's so cute. Love that. They're so pretty. Yeah, and these are all different strips. And the stickers are kind of thick, so that's good. But yes, definitely, definitely worth it, I think. Def not something I would normally spend on but I really like this one so I thought I could splurge myself it was Mother's Day plus I was buying it with my own money so why not and then um, with that simple story when the um, what is it cottage vintage botanical cottage or whatever I found this one which is more of a farm theme yeah 
simple vintage farmhouse garden and they didn't have any of their paper there but I saw this and it was very similar to the other one that I got so I thought I could use some of these chipboards to go with it I like the colors and some of them will go with the album that I'm making right now with this collection because it has some of that black and it's got some of that same you know like gingham to it and I thought I might be able to use some of the um, flowers maybe I don't know this is more blue and this is more green maybe but I knew like some of the parts I could use like those and stuff so and I might use this too that'll go with it so I got that Here's a close-up of it. Some vegetables. Some hearts, some flowers. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then I got more of the Simple Vintage Cottage Field. That's the one I was talking about. And um, last time I got it, when I got the pack, I got these and they're all flowers. I loved them so much. I got two more of them. They're all butterflies and flowers. And the bird that's in the collection, I just, I absolutely loved them. I wanted to use them for everything, for cards and for junk journals. I thought these would be perfect it's got that vintage look to it. And they won't actually be vintage, but but they are a decent, you know, thickness. Because I keep on looking for a bird book and I haven't been able to find one yet. So this will help me. Or a bird book. I haven't been able to find birds or flower book yet for junk journals but it's got multiple butterflies in there and flowers and I just absolutely love it so I got two more so now I got three of these so I think I think I'm good on these more butterflies I love those blue flowers and that yellow bird looks like a golden finch Some yellow butterflies. And they got like bigger and smaller sizes of the same ones, which is nice. Oops, that one got bent. Huh. It's okay. I can fix that. It's just so gorgeous. So yeah. And then I also found the embellishments of the Simple Stories Simply Vintage Farmhouse Garden. And it's got 63 pieces in there. I'll show those to you really quick. Because I thought it could go with that collection I'm working that album I'm working on. And I don't know, it just kind of goes with everything. And with junk journals and stuff. Always be thankful. I just love that little collage they had going on. It's got these little hearts, like that could go with the one I'm working with now, because it's got that same black and white to it. Humble, humble and kind, I love that. And then our family, bloom and grow around the table. And then it did have some letters. I can't remember what all it... I think it's spelled family or something. And then here's the cow, sheep, pig, and um, rooster again. Stacked up on each other. And then it had these cute little sayings. Home sweet home. Homegrown and our family. Uh, gathered together. forever farm fresh I really like that and then these little ones better together and then the very best sweet home love that blue and then our happy home it's got two of those Home sweet home, the little butterfly, 
family is everything. In this one, it looks like there's stitching there. We are blessed, and it's just so pretty. Like a doily, more of those little hearts. Definitely use those. I love this. Be grateful. Another heart. Some peas. String beans. Um, the rooster again. Some more little hearts. This one's heart and home. And then these like tickets that are like got that like vintage torn look to it. It says grow. And then home garden. And he's got these little like banner strips. Uh, stay humble and kind. Bloom and grow. Home sweet home. And gather together. There's another one of those tickets. That one says home. And like a little journaling spot. More of those little saying sweet life. Gather little things. Choose happy. And then it's got the animals stacked up. The little spot to journal. And so it spells love, home, and I'm missing my eye. It's probably in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So yeah. It spells family, home, and love. Out of those. So that was definitely worth it. And then I also got the um, frames that goes with that collection. I just, I love them. I was looking for the um, frames to this collection, but I couldn't find them. But this one could go, I thought, could go either way. Could go with both of them. It's got this big one. Bloom and Grow. I thought it was just so gorgeous. Definitely put those in albums. Farm Sweet, or, yeah, Farm Sweet Farm. Sounds really cool. I love this one. Best ever. And then this one's like two photos in one. It says like heart and home on it. And it's got the little rooster. It's got like buttons stitched on there. I love that. And then this is another two photos. It says homegrown. My phone will focus. There we go. I really like that. And then this little one. I love this one. Memories. Might use this one for scrapbooking. I love this one. And then I got one more embellishment pack. This one's Echo Park. This one's Baby Girls. And I do a lot of Baby Girl albums. And I do have a lot of Echo Parks collections. So I thought this, you know, their Baby Girl ones kind of all go together. Just them all in the back. Um, but I'll give you a little, show them all to you. I love the wood grain on here and the flowers. It's a girl. I love you too. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Congratulations on your new arrival. So you can also use this for our cards for, you know, baby showers. Welcome to the world. It's a girl. I love you to the moon and back. Precious baby girl. Here we go, that's better. Gorgeous girl. Sweet girl. Just say, let her sleep for when she wakes, she will move mountains and more. Sweet girl, and you can poke those little holes out too. Cute little tag. Um, all of God's grace in one tiny face. Dream big little lady. Keep shining, beautiful one. The world needs your light. Welcome, baby. We made a wish, and you came true. And being green, you can also use this for a boy, too. Or, even, if you wish to have a dog, or a certain pet, horse, cat, 
You could use that for that too. You don't have to use it specifically just for baby girls. Welcome little one. Like this is cute. You could use that for anything. Congrats on your new arrival. That'd be great for making a card. Sweet baby girl. I do like that blue. And then born to be sweet. And then this is the frame and this punches out. So you also have cute and adorable baby girl. I always like these little banners. There's like five of them. What am I putting? You on? are loved. Little flower. And this one says sweet baby. This one says sleep pretty darling. Do not cry. And I will sing a lullaby. That's from the Beatles. <laughs> and then, congrats on your sweet new bundle of joy. So that's great for a card as well. And then I found um, these wood veneer pieces. They're like seashells. And I've never seen anything like it. It's from uh, Paper Wizard. and that, So it's paperwiz.net. You can go to their site. I've never seen this before. And um, I love wood veneer, and then I also love anything and everything to do with ocean theme, so I couldn't say no to it. They got, th they're so thin and delicate, but they got some like shimmery ones, like this creamy shimmer, like champagne shimmer, and then this like silvery shimmer, and then just like the pl like plain. So they got three sand dollars in three different colors. And then it's got two of these shells, clam shells. And um, it's got like two pieces to it. So it's got this plain one and then it's got that um, silvery color again. And then they got these parts that you go over it. Which I might paint over some of these, but yeah, you just line them up. So you can have this one color and then this another color and layer them. They were so delicate and pretty. And then it's got these um, two bigger ones, which again has those two different shimmery colors. And then this part goes over. It's so delicate. So definitely got to be careful with it. But yeah, I could use some embossing powder, paint them, whatever I want, gelatos to change the color or just keep them the color that they already are. So I end up getting those. And then I end up getting some photo corners. I got a white pack that has 108 and then a craft one that has 108, which is kind of weird. They're the same amount, same brand and everything, but the white ones were $2.99 and then the craft ones were $3.59, which is kind of weird. But definitely isn't that for my albums. And then I found these clear ones that has 250 corners, which I thought was really cool. And then they come in the um like strips you see that you can put your little photos or yeah photos in the corners so i thought that'd be fun to add in with albums and there's 250 in this one so for only 2.99 i thought that wasn't too bad and then they have it where you just start on the bottom and pull out so you don't have to take them all out um, thermal web and then I found these adorable brads they had all thing full of different kinds and I ended up getting a couple um, I found these ones which were seagulls and I never seen ones that detailed before so I got those ones because I do a lot of ocean themed they got these tiny ones flying and then these ones standing I thought they were gorgeous I love those and they are actually brads. So definitely going to use those. And then I got these really cute birds. There's robins and then these like bluebirds in it. Aren't those adorable? I love them. I've never seen one that detailed like that. The brand is Isla Outlet and Brads. Apparently they have their own website too. IsletOutlet.com. And then I found one with all of these corners. 
and they were so pretty they got different colors and different designs so there is three different designs and they're three different colors so you got four of each one i got this one which is like a silvery color with the swirls to it and then i got this one which is like a copper color and it's very delicate edges really pretty and then i got this one which is like a gold rusty gold color which is really delicate too and it's got like a star on the top so that's going to be fun for junk journals and um, scrapbooking and then i had to get one more set of brads they're dinosaurs because my son loves his dinosaurs and i think there was like three different type of dinosaurs there's like a bronchiosaurus a triceratops and a t-rex i think yeah, there's a Triceratops there. So these are the three different dinosaurs. But i never seen brads like this before and that detailed. They're so cute. I love them. So had to get those. And then I found a couple things on clearance. Um, I found this that was originally $1.29. I got it for $0.59. Cents. It's this really nice closure for jewelry, you know, like um, necklaces and stuff. And um, it's got the little hook there. I don't want to open because I'm afraid of losing it, but it's got four different ones in here. So this is the front, and this will be the back. And you can see the hook there to hook on and off. So I was thinking about using this with um, junk journals for another type of closure because they were just so pretty. And for only 59 cents for four of them, I thought that wasn't bad. And then I got two of these, two different sizes. They were both the same price for 59 cents, which is kind of weird. You think this one would be cheap because being smaller, but I wanted to add those with like vintage looking, um, botanical or just vintage looking junk journals. And it is pretty dimensional, so I would put these like on the cover. But they're so pretty. And then I got some of Tim Holtz's new ink. Um, first I got the two inks of the Cracked Campfire and then the Rustic Wilderness because I have the Oxide but I didn't have the regular ink to them so now I got both of these. And then I finally end up getting the um, the Flamingo one, the Kish Flamingo. I end up getting both of them. They had the Oxide and the ink because at first I was him on if I wanted to get that one or not and finally I just did. Um, I was looking for his new one that just came out that what is it like savage patina they didn't have that one yet so i was bummed out but i was able to get these ones so i got the oxide and ink of all three of these ones and i think that's all i end up getting so yeah i definitely splurged for my mother's day i definitely spoiled myself but i don't regret it i love everything that i got and i'm definitely going to find use for all of them and um i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on anything have a great day everybody bye